Hi there, this is your favorite nun in the Amat channel and I have a limit problem for you. So I'm adding to the powers of p or n to the p plus 1. Uh, so let's write it with the summation way, okay? So I'm adding, let's put an in this, say it, i is going from 1 to n and I'm adding i to the p's. So this already looks like a Riemann sum. I have something from 1 to n, it's right Riemann sum, and n is going to infinity. So normally I would need dx at the outside. So n is undependent from the i, and therefore I can just take one of the n's out. So it's going to be over n to the p. So let's rewrite it. So it limit as n goes to infinity. 1 over n. And I can just write them together. Okay? i over n to the power of p. So here, uh, I recommend you to watch the previous video because I explained how, how can I just write it in the uh, integral way. And it is, so I'm multiplying i by 1 over n, so my delta x is 1 over n, which is also b minus a over n. And since I don't have anything adding up here, if it was like a plus i delta n, then I would say my a is just a number, not zero, but here it's just zero, a is zero. If a is zero, then b has to be one from here. And my function is just taking it and making it to the power of p. So fx is just x to the p. So my integral, it's going to look like integral from a to b from 0 to 1. So this is a node. Okay. From 0 to 1, it's going to be fx dx. But let's just write it x to the p dx. So by the power rule, it's going to be x to the p plus 1 over p plus 1. And this is from 1 to 0. So it's, it's just going to be 1 over p plus 1. And when I put x is equal to 0, it's 0. So this is our answer. Also a quick note. Uh, so in the question, we said that p is greater or equal than minus. p is greater than minus 1. Why is it? So if p is minus 1, well, of course, we have an undefined situation here, so it doesn't make sense. And if it was lower, we, well, it, it doesn't converge, first of all, but we could also see it from here. If p is less than minus 1, then this thing is going to be negative, because p, p plus 1 is going to be uh, less than 0. But I'm adding positive terms, 1 to the p, 2 to the p. They're all positives, okay? No, no matter what is the p. So then I would have all of the positive terms adding up to something negative. Okay, so this would also doesn't make sense. So even if they didn't say this, after this point we could say, oh, this will hold only if p is greater, p is greater than minus 1. Okay.